Hi, guys, guess what? Guess what? I got my first ever reaction video, and I'm pretty excited about it. I don't think it's good. Like, I don't think, well, I mean, I'm not saying the video is bad. I haven't watched it. I'm just saying it's probably going to be a bit critical of me, so that should be fun to watch. But I'm just excited because even though I feel like this video, I know that this video is going to be <clears throat> probably not great. I'll show you the thumbnail here. So you probably get an idea of like what I'm what I'm going into here. I'm just excited because I feel like once you have a reaction video, it's like, whoa, I'm like doing something, you know, people are actually watching this. Holy cow, and that's so exciting. So I'm excited, even though I feel like this video is gonna be mean. Anyway, let's watch it together. This was posted a month ago. So this video is by Jazz Comedy Tour. He has 57 subscribers. The video has 50 views, so not many. But I'm still excited because it's it's reaction me. I got a, I got my own reaction video. You guys. <laughs> okay, so it's, he calls it exposes why girls don't want men to have a sex robot. I don't think I did that. Did I do that? I really don't think I did that. Don't I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's let's watch it and then then we'll talk. We're here for my niece and nephews. Mmm. Uncle Jason gonna tell you more. It is over for us for women. Unfortunately. Or so I've heard. Well, it's over for women. What is over with women? Let's find out. Talk about thin bots. Welcome to the future of sex. If you could streamline your spouse overall, every physical floor. What have they done to you? Robot? I call them thin bots. Okay, I want to say I'm really, really proud of that intro. I'm like very proud of that intro, so I'm glad that he showed that. So maybe some of these 50 people can get an idea of like my intros, <laughs> I guess. When machinery meets femininity, you get the fembot. And we're gonna go over this. I'm, I'm gonna like go nervous. Why am I nervous? Get your shit together. So what is a fembot exactly? So female plus robot equals fembot, right? Easy math. Basically extremely realistic crazy advanced humanoid robots equipped with artificial intelligence and they're made to look, act, sound, and feel like a real person. Now, all my niece and nephews, you notice when she talks about this... It okay, pause real quick. So he calls himself Uncle? Uncle Jason? Uncle? Ooh. Why would you choose, like, the default creepiest family member? You know, like I'm not like I love my uncles; they're fine. But I'm just saying, like if you have a if you were gonna have a stereotypical creepy, it's like the creepy uncle. You know, why would you want to? And he calls everybody his nieces and nephews. We're all his nieces and nephews. He's like, come sit down, nieces and nephews. Let's talk about sex. Act, sound, and feel like a real person. Now, all my nieces and nephews, you notice when she talks about this, if you look at her body language. She's not very happy about this. Most of these feminists are not very happy about sex robots. My body language. Bro, you have no baseline. Like, how do you know? You don't know any. Okay, first of all. <laughs> wow. Okay. My body language. I haven't talked. I haven't done anything yet. So there's no way you could get an accurate analysis of my body language. Shall I tell you why? Because women enjoy the power of being able to use their lady parts to get what they want. This is why OnlyFans is a thing. If men had their perfect partners and they had a woman that would never divorce rate. OnlyFans is a thing because people are paying for that. I, I just, it's creeping me out a little bit. I don't want to be mean to this guy because I feel like I'm not, my, my intention here is not to bully him or to hurt his feelings. He's a very, very, very small channel. And this is coming from an also very, very, very small channel. So I'm going to be nice, but I'm going to say... You know, it's creepy to call yourself an uncle and call everybody else your and call everyone your nieces and nephews and then start talking about lady parts. Ew, dude. Ew. God. Oh, God. This is the uncle that can't come to Thanksgiving anymore. If men had their perfect partners and they had a woman that would never divorce rate them and take all their money off them... Men could have security for twenty, thirty thousand pounds and never have to go through hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of divorce. One. Two, they would not have a get a woman turn into a hoe and cheat on them. And three, 
he would not have to put up with all her nonsense and her self entitlement because unfortunately a lot of Gen Z women are being brought up that because they've got a pair of titties and some piss flaps. They whoa, bro, what? Ew, ew, ew. Fuck me, dude. Oh, God. Okay, couple of things. First of all, that the first his first point that was brought up a ton in my comments too. It's like, well, at least the fembots won't take all half your money and like leave you and like take a hundred grand and then run and like whatever. It's like, okay, first of all, do you have a hundred grand? Do you have a hundred grand to lose? Not trying to be judgmental or anything, but I'm just saying. It looks like you're filming on an old Dell webcam. So I don't know if he, maybe he has a hundred grand in, in the bank stacks, right? Maybe he has stacks and stacks on stacks, but I doubt it. And also twenty thirty thousand dollars $30,000, they don't cost that much. First of all, they're like 10 grand. So he's way off there. But also the guys who are so, who use this as like a rationale have either one, had a very personal situation that was identical to that or two have never been married but hate women <laughs> like i don't want to be i don't want to be i don't want to generalize they don't hate women they just feel like they just have no experience with women so and not, i don't mean that in a mean way i just mean they they don't have female friends they're family members who are female they're probably not very close to more than likely they have a bad relationship with their mother and you can kind of figure out maybe where things started to go a little wonky because it's just women are half of the population of the planet, you know? Also, you don't want women to go out and have careers and do all of these and go work and go be like doing men's jobs and like wanting all this independence and whatever. But also at the same time, you're mad at women if they were to rely on you financially so you don't want them to work and have their own money, but you also don't want them to take your money. So do you want them to just die? Women take all of our money. And then you're also like, women shouldn't work. You can't have a career and you, you can't take a man's money. What do you, what can you do? Die? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uncle Jason, tell me, what do you want me to do? They've got this entitlement thing. They wouldn't have any of that. This is what the real problem is. All these girls don't like it because they're going to lose all their OnlyFans and actually have to do a proper day's work. First of all, I don't have an OnlyFans. But if I did, I'm sure he'd subscribe to it. Second, a proper day's work. What is he doing? What are you doing? Talking about very inappropriate things to your nieces and nephews. I was anemic, but I'm not anymore because the irony is too much. Now let's go take a look at a uh, sex robot of the future. Let's meet Harmony, all my niece and nephews. Harmony, what's your sexual fantasy? I want to have sex in a public place. Same. So is this Harmony? Yep. Oh my god. Ooh. Sorry, I wasn't Yes, prepared. that's Harmony. Okay. I was thinking about you. I will. He looks you? so amused yeah, right now. You know you can count on me for the good and bad moments. Is she Irish? <laughs> I like it. It's a, a Scottish, actually. Oh. You notice what she says, she'll be there, she won't forsake you. And also, if you do date a robot, at least you know she'll be on every week. Because when you date a woman, they're basically what Uncle Jason calls off and ons. You get one good week in every four, like. So they're either coming on, they're coming off, or they're on, like. So at least for the robot, you haven't got to deal with any of that. You know, look at the bright side of it. He calls the half of the world's population off and ons. Because... As in his experience that he has, he's had a lot of experience with, with these off and ons, nieces and nephews. So, Uncle Jason can tell you, his wife don't want to fuck him all the time, okay? Sometimes she has her period, and that's super inconvenient for Jason. Jason suffers. Uncle Jason hates periods because that means he has to take a break. You know, sex robot, you're just like, oh god, what's it gonna do? Gyrate around on the table? and go, oh, 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 yes, we're not about that. This is, um, you know, legitimately a robot that if you so choose, you could have sex with her. I really like Matt McCullen. If this is your first video of me you're watching, you probably don't know who that is. He's the creator of Real Doll. He creates um, 
these like super, super freaky, real um, humanoid robots that are like, they're equipped with like AI so they can learn, they can talk, they can speak. It's the coolest thing ever. And I am a huge fan of him. I think he's just gonna play this whole video though now. So I guess let's watch this whole video then, Jason. This is not a robot that will walk into your bedroom and fuck you. Uncle Jason will say one thing though. This Harmony doll does look really realistic. I'll be quite interested to see the engineer behind all this. It's an artificially intelligent robotic head plopped on top of robotic super- So looking by his body language, currently he's touching his face a lot. As soon as they put the naked robots up, he started doing this, which is a self-soothing gesture. Probably because he's trying to act like he's not, like this is casual for him, but in reality. Thanks, robot. The basic real dolls. When you integrate the AI and the robot, the idea is that you're going to get expressions on her face as the whole thing is happening. It's going to make noises. Um, we're working on putting sensors, heating, and self-lubrication. You push this little microphone. I want to have sex in a public place. I like it. The harmony is very... He likes it. I can, okay. I love like UK accents. I just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to copy his accent, but it was just funny. He's like, I like it. You know what? Actually, I like it. <laughs> it's like, do you, Jason? I'm sure you like it. I feel like you do like it. I feel like you like it. I like it a lot. When they built Harmony, they clearly took the coyness chip and threw it out the window, like. The AI app is designed so that a user can create a unique personality by choosing personality traits and assigning a value to those traits. So, so what he's saying is, basically um, a person can customize the personality of the doll. So you have no mood swings, no erratic emotions, no whinging and whining, no malarkey. No malarkey. All these women with all their damn malarkey. Bro. <laughs> Malark, do y'all say that down there? Is that like a real word? That's a word? Oh, I love that word. That's gonna be my new word. That's what, that's a, all these feminists and their malarkey. Good. Uncle Jason is over the malarkey. They'll never, she'll never be able to turn, turn out like a mega malarkey, for an example. Mega malarkey! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you see why men would rather pay twenty, thirty thousand pounds for a, a robot, especially when they're, they're fully functional and they can walk and they can do fine and gross motor movements? They would rather tw spend twenty or thirty thousand on a doll rather than risk hundreds of thousands in divorce courts. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. I think, need, I think women need to wake up and really sort of look at this and say. If we keep pushing men to a degree, then men are just going to not want us. And they're just going to want a sex robot instead. And it will be a shame because it will be the end of humanity because birth rates in the West are going down as it is. And if more men are too scared to date women because they're too scared of getting allegations made against them or too scared of losing all their life's work in many true terms, then men will just date robots instead of dating real people. And then there'll be no babies anymore. That is a very, very, very intense jump we just took. Men might date less women. They might go buy a sex robot instead to like the end of humanity. Whoa, what a jump. I don't want to say he's exaggerating, but I will explain why I think he might be, why I think that might not, not be the case. So for one, he assumes that women don't have sexual needs. We know this. I feel like I can get that vibe from him just fine. I don't, I mean, I feel like he assumes that women don't have any sexual needs whatsoever, that they have no wants, no desires. They solely use it as some sort of transaction of payment or something. Like we just like don't have that, which is not true. First of all, second of all, I, I don't know why you assume there's not going to be any men. Fembots. I mean, they wouldn't be finbots, I guess, but it's all arbitrary anyway, because they're robots and they don't have genders. So I don't get why <laughs> you, every, all these guys are assuming, or this guy is assuming, there'll be no male. Imagine, not only does this guy feel like he is in some massive competition with every other man on this planet, 
but he's assuming that now he won't have to compete with a with a male sex robot. Imagine a male sex robot, because there's only one of them, but Matt McCullen is making, again, robotics, right? I've showed Henry in a video before. Look at that, look at Henry. He should be on Too Hot to Handle, okay? Look at this, look at Henry, baby. I don't know why they think that. That's like, and also the generalizations are really, really a lot. Like his view of women is so, he's in such an echo chamber all the time that he thinks his problems are way more common than I think that they are. And the he's partaking in actions that make his problems worse. Who have, if you want somebody who respects themselves to date you, you can't make a video like this. You know what I mean? Like, if you make a video like this, you have to understand that the second you've posted that something like this online, any woman who is lacking so much self-respect that they still date you after you just said those things, and knowing that you like see her that way, I mean, God knows what she's in it for, because I don't know what the fuck she'd be in it for. I mean, he doesn't sound like he views women as human beings, so I don't know. That's a dilemma for sure. That's a dilemma. Tailor the voice to their liking, and then they can just start talking. And over time, um, the AI will get to know you and will ask you questions about, you know, your likes and your dislikes, where you grew up, and those little pieces of information will be stored um, permanently. So I don't think that it's outside of the realm of possibility that human-robot relationships will become common in the future. Are you a sex robot? Certainly, I am a robot, and I am capable of having. But to call me a sex robot is like calling a computer a calculator. Sex comprises only a small portion of my capabilities. Take note of that, Jason. Limiting me to sexual function is like using your car to listen to the radio. She's. I love that. Absolutely love that. So they've also incorporated per a personality and very high level sophisticated artificial intelligence. The question is going to be for the future, my niece and nephews, once sex robots become the more than the sum of their parts and they get closer and closer to becoming sentient, then what do we do then? Because once robotics and robots and androids cross the threshold for being sentient... If a fembot were to become sentient, wouldn't it just be a per be a woman and then you'd hate it again i mean what do you so what so basically he's wanting i'm going to i'm going to break it down he's want what he wants and what he's excited for and what he's talking about is he thinks that when sex robots become so advanced and become so what he said a sum of their parts they're a whole being right on their own and then not only that but they're becoming sentient, or they are sentient. Like, we're getting to that point, is, in, is what he's talking about. What he's saying is he wants a female who is sentient, so he wants a sentient female who he can own, and who has no free will, and no rights. Because think, because listen, listen to it. I mean, listen again. The question's gonna be for the future, my niece and nephews. Once sex robots become the more than the sum of their parts and they get closer and closer to becoming sentient. Right? He's describing a woman. He's, he's saying what he's looking forward to, what he's excited about, is when these fembots get to be that advanced to the point where they're pretty much indistinguishable from real women, right? So then at that point, wouldn't you just want a real woman or what's the difference or is there a difference? But I'll tell you the difference is that a robot doesn't have any free will and a robot doesn't have any rights. So that's really dark, actually. That's actually really, really freaking dark. Cross the threshold for being sentient. We must be very, very careful not to condemn them to slavery like has been done to humanity in the past. So what do you want to do then? If we're not going to enslave them, then at that point you're giving them a choice whether to have sex with you or not. And if you give them that choice, what if they choose not? Because the attitudes towards machines we have in general, oh, they're just an extension of us, they're just, oh, whatever, you know. 
and people will not view them as equals when they become equals to humans. It's one of the, the only expressions that Uncle Jason will use here. Once you open Pandora's box, you cannot put the lid back on. One He's showing more concern for like equality and the human rights and the autonomy of sex robots than he is actual human beings that are female. Like that's wild to me. The problem he has is not women because he wants a woman who looks like a woman, speaks like a woman, and is sentient fully is what he's saying. And he wants them to at the same time be a sex robot. You can't have a sex robot and you can't have a sex robot that's sentient. You can't have a sex robot that's sentient because if you do, that's sexual slavery. And there's a reason we don't do that, Jason. There's a reason, Uncle, Uncle Jason, that we don't enslave women as sex slaves. They would not, why would, why would any sentient being want to be a sex toy? It wouldn't, right? So the second you cross that threshold, that is, that being is no longer going to want to be a sex toy for you. So at that point, now you have the same problems. So what you want in reality is a sex partner, somebody to have sex with whenever you want, however you want, whenever you want, with no free will and no rights. That's why Fem that's why this is so appealing to him because he I mean a robot can't take him to court, you're right and still have his money, you know why? It has no rights. A robot cannot a robot cannot turn him down once a month. You know why? It has no rights. A robot can't a robot can't leave. Huh. Cuz it has no no rights and no free will and no autonomy and no control over its own situation or its own being or its own body. That's terrifying to think that you want a sentient robot in that position. And if you think genuinely that you just, you can say, well, I'm against slavery, but at the same time say you want a sentient robot to be a s sex toy for you is disgusting. <laughs> I wasn't going to be mean, remember? I wasn't going to be mean. And I'm still trying not to be mean. I'm really not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to understand. Understand you, Uncle Jason. I'm just trying to understand you, boy. This is malarkey. If robots become sentient, we will have to adjust and treat them with the same rights as humans have. That's just food for thought for my niece and nephews. But then they won't serve the purpose that you want them to. Yep. This seems very impressive. So. I think what Uncle Jason wants is to go back to the good old days. I think Jason is tired of all this Gen Z BS and he's tired of all these feminisms and all this and he just wants to go back to the good old days where women were property and you didn't have to worry about them. And so that's my first reaction video guys! Yay! Okay, um, I decided to check out his channel and just, it, it's what you'd expect. It's, a, it's very in line. His, his most recent video is from yesterday, and it's called Crossing the Line with Offensive Muslim Jokes. Hello, my nieces and nephews. Today we're going to be racist with Uncle Jason. Racism with Uncle Jason. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. Please be safe out there, and uh, don't trust your uncle. Love you, bye!